our fourth fight tonight of this fantastic Phoenix fight card. I'm Teddy Mulvey alongside Kevin Noon, who is the powerhouse of, of Muay Thai, as you've been hearing so far tonight. This is our fourth fight of nine fights, and this is just an amazing atmosphere, an amazing here uh, stadium, the crowd, top notch, amazing, right? I mean, Bangkok, Thailand, Mecca Muay Thai, welcome. We have a tie versus a non-tie, so the action's gonna be is gonna pick up right away. Uh, Muhammad, as we see Muhammad right now. is gonna bring it here. Muhammad physically bigger, for sure. We've been he harping on it, but look at that. He is a human specimen. Yep. <laughs> Man, Jesus. Seriously, I am in awe. It's incredible. Kudos to Muhammad and his team. Whoever his diet Ooh, Oh, my God. It was heard like, that snap all the way down. Yeah, but Kao it's like San. hitting steel. Yeah, it really is. Guy is just incredibly physique. He's moving forward. Saying that, flashback to about 2004 on the wonderful island of Koh Samui. I fought at Lamai Stadium. I was a crap fighter. I'll just put, tell you right All now. Right. But I fought an American guy called Jack, who was an air hostess. Sorry, an air host <laughs> for American <laughs> Airlines. Yeah. And he was built like Mohammed. Jeez. But he went down. There you go. Hashtag humble brag. The fat, Here it comes. I, the fat Irish man sent him crashing Good to the for canvas. You. Technique I, I, and I heart, though. I you know what I mean? No, no technique. I had no technique. Come plenty on. of heart. Plenty of heart. I wasn't a fighter, though. So I'm far, a lover. So far, it looks like Sing Surya is just, is just waiting to, to learn, download the information, as we like to say. He's trying to, he's reading Mohammed right now, seeing what he's giving him, and then reacting to it. But he will be aggressive, Thai style. Wait until, you know, round two, definitely round three, when he figures out this puzzle that is Mohammed, he's going to be aggressive. It's got to be a daunting task, though, standing in front of that. Oh. Kind of trying to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. He I mean, literally has a 10 pack. It's, it's incredible. Me? But then look at the legs and the thigh muscles and calf muscles of Sing Surya. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's daunting. I know if I'm fighting him right now, day. my eyes are not looking down at those machines. Oh, good beautiful body whip, then goes up top. Yep, yeah, to fantastic. Lowers the arms down, Final frees up minute, the head. First round. This is, of course, the second Phoenix world title fight of the night. Oh, third Phoenix world title fight. Yep, four fights. Only one has not been the title fight. Yes. Absolutely. And of course, this is the first super fight. welterweight title fight. 155 and below. Both fighters just below that. Great triple jab and then digs into the leg. Yes, yeah, he's going to need that. He's very busy in this first round. Yeah, I like that. Active, nice. Nice movement, oh, nice great combination. combination. Yeah. The change of the levels, man. So cerebral, this kid. Speed and velocity as Keep well. Keep your opponent guessing. Yeah, great and you're job. scoring as well. Absolutely. This, there's a bit of a, a nomadic fallacy about the fact that Muay Thai is always a 10 10 round yeah. in the, in yeah, the yeah, Thailand. Yeah. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. No, definitely not here at Phoenix 5 for sure. It's a common misconception. I love that body dig yeah, and that triple it, up on that jab. Combinations are Dude, very, very, very technique. fluid. Oh, and a big elbow at the end. Great Signs job. Beautiful signature elbow at the end of that round. And of course, Singh Surya is known for his elbow prowess. And that was the first time we got to see that in the opening round. Oh, we saw an elbow war earlier on tonight. Oh, wow. If you're just joining us, hit rewind on that for sure. That was an incredible. We've had a, we've lit, if you're watching this now on the Fight TV app, Thank you for downloading. Thank you for Thank tuning you. in. We've had an incredible show so far. This is our fourth fight. We have nine fights. Again, up next, we have two Muay Thai superstars colliding. Gaonar, PK Sanchai Muay Thai gym, two-time Lumpini Stadium champion against one of the masters of Muay Thai for the last five to six years. Former Rajat Emnen, former Lumpini, three-time Rajat Emnen champion, two-time fighter of the year, the beautiful Sweep King, Superbank. Yeah, I cannot wait to see that. And we're going to see some Superbank, beautiful Superbank technique. Superbank left beautiful Muay Thai sweeps. for a year because he got brought onto the Olympic boxing team and he missed out on the Olympics narrowly. We'll talk about that in a minute. Teddy, take us there through the a, replay, please. Those are those leg kits that are going to start paying dividends later on. He's going to put in the work now. I love that fake. Digs to the body, goes back up top. Again, beautiful technique there by the tie. Body rip right there. Changing levels beautifully. This is a highlight reel right there for him. Yeah, fantastic. Sing Surya. Fantastic Look great. opening Look great. round by Sing Surya. Mohammed, yeah. for his part, he did not do a lot. We can't create a falsity where we don't see any no, action. But he, he scored. He didn't. I don't think he wanted to be too aggressive because he knew they've left himself open. Someone like Sing Surya would, was just going to take him out. So good on him there. We'll see some more action from him soon. Of course, there in the screen, the three gentlemen on the right-hand side, Kun Samai, promoter at the stadium. In the middle, Mr. Chahe, and of course, 
our beloved Mr. General COVID, the chairman of the WBC Muay Thai and the vice chairman of the WBC Worldwide under Mr. Mauricio Suleiman. And of course, the man in shot, Mr. COVID, was the gentleman along with the late great Jose Suleiman who got Muay Thai and the WBC together. They had a meeting with the king, the late great king of Thailand. And he asked Jose Suleiman, what can you do for the sport of Muay Thai? Wow. And that's where we are today. And that's where we are today. True story. Look at that. That's why we're here today, hosting three WBC. And we will grow the WBC. And into, here, no again. one Thailand welcomes you for sure. There's a big buzz around Bangkok and around, around this country, the kingdom of the WBC. We're happy sure to have is. you here. And uh, not only that, as I mentioned earlier, I was quite astounded at the interest the mainstream media took in this fight, this, sorry, Yo, this yeah. show, this Huge. week. Huge, yeah. So kudos to Mr. Chahe and his team from the Lebanon for bringing their fighting championship, Phoenix Fights, to Bangkok. We have in the red corner, Sing Suri uh, Sak Chai Cho from Thailand, and in the blue corner, Mohamed Suwani from Alamos Gym, France, in the blue corner. If you're Mohamed, right, and you look oh, into your corner and you see former Lumpini Stadium champion, Damien Alamos, it's got to give you encouragement. Oh, of course. Look at those combinations. He's digging yeah. into that body now, man. He's really finding, putting a lot of power behind that. And he's finding a home every single time, nearly. The precision and accuracy right now is incredible by Singh Surya. Wow, good catch by yeah. Mohamed. He Mo had yeah. to catch he that, He had to man. stifle that yeah. attack. He really needed to. No question about that, Teddy. But he had to do something. He was getting pounded. Singh Surya is finding a home for that leg kick every time. And I don't care how much muscle you have in that. Those kicks are going to wear and create sure. hematomas and everything. I actually like that, that what he's doing. He's attacking the legs and attacking the body. Something that really, really hurts oh, later. There's a nice sweep. sweep right there. He learned that from his gym mate, Superbank. No question about that. Big body rip again. Great combinations. He's getting a lot of scoring. Oh, and here we go. Here's the clinch. That was a that was a big monster knee from Muhammad. He needs to do more of that. He needs to be busier. He needs to be more attentive. He definitely needs to be busy. There it is. There it is. There it is Good again. Good catch. Wow, he couldn't even sweep him. How strong that leg was yeah, he's rooted a, he's in the a, canvas. He's a, he's a monster, literally. Big left there a by. A monster. Big left there by Muhammad. Tries yeah, to jump nice him, but no. sweep of his own. Half sweep, we'll call it. Final Big minute. Uppercut there, followed by a body dig. Yeah, nice body rip. 36 seconds left. Round number two, Phoenix Fighting Championship, super welterweight title fight. Another body rip with that leg kick. Man. His and fluidity, speed, Teddy, man. and those combinations God. is absolutely majestic right now. Well, there now. Now Mohammed's using his length there on those jabs. Finally utilizing the size that he's bringing here into the ring. Needs to fight long. There he is, right around the guard there. Yeah. Beautiful looping left. Goes in for an elbow, but... Nice, jab, nice nope. double jab by Mohammed. He needs to he needs to be busier though with with yeah, everything. Absolutely. This is why it's called the science of eight. Use use them all. Sing Sarah really. Second round in, in the box. His, in second in round in yep. the bags. Second round. I just used the word plural for bags. Second round in the bag. Sorry, my linguistic friends overseas. <laughs> I do dearly apologize right. for my grammatical error. Alright, round two in the books, as Kevin said. The crowd on the edge of their seats. I, I like that you mentioned it because you're right. When you do look around the crowd, there are not many phones out. Sometimes none at all. Eyes on the ring. The excitement yeah. these fighters are bringing, that Phoenix Five is bringing. It's absolutely you know? incredible. The interest level from everyone in attendance tonight. It, it literally feels like everyone came yeah. here because they knew about this show. The only thing I heard a few of them say is they're like, oh, why can't we hear the commentary? You know, like, oh, really? oh man, like, I will. You know, sure that would make that? it so much better. You know, that Why was the only thing I heard. I'm not even sure. Okay. I think I heard it, but I like that. Everything else was fine. But even like, if it's oh, not true, even if great. it's a fallacy, I'll, 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 I'll like the. But those guys look the great. Notion. It's a good job they can't see me. That's right. Those guys have got another minute before they're going to get back into the ring. You saw a lot from the Thai fighter, not so much from the French fighter. But uh, as I like to say, round three Teddy. is the money fight. There's just those body rips. You see the power he's putting in to each one of his shots, and he's setting up his big shots. Pat, pat up top, dig to the body, big kick. There he is, pat, pat up top, get the hands moving, boom, boom. So cerebral. Fantastic so technique. You so can cerebral. clearly see that working on that in T-Dead 99 gym, yep. day in, day out for this fight. Yep, not much going on there in the clinch. There was that beautiful negate of that knee, tried to dump him, couldn't. Sing Surya is looking great. There's that tap, tap, dig, great left. Now, there's Rodrigo Alamos. 
in the corner, uh, owner of Alamos Gym in France. You can see the frustration on Mohamed's face too yes. because he knows he's better than this. He knows he can do it. You know what I mean? He's not getting out class. He's in a class with him. Well, he can do this. It's a quite simple anecdote here. You sink or you swim. Absolutely. You know, there's no in-between here. You want to leave here with a super welterweight title around your waist, Phoenix world title, you go and get it. If you don't, you sink. Simple. And if you want to swim in these deep waters, man, you're swimming with some great white sharks. There we go. Round number three. Round three. Super welterweight Phoenix World Championship. 154 pounds. Sing Surya. T Dead 99 gym in the blue short in the red shorts. And Mohammed from Alamos gym in France. So we have Thailand versus France. You saw Sing Surya go a little bit up high with the kicks now. Now he's to, now he's going up to the body. And you see Mohammed with a kick to the body. There he is. Yeah, yeah. keep that up, man. I more, like, I like more when he's active. More urgency now in this opening first minute of round number three from Mohammed. Oh, great switch kick right there. Doubled up on it inside and then right back. Mohammed says, I can do it too, man. The only way to suppress that aggressive effectiveness that Singsuria was showcasing in rounds one and two is to do what he was doing there oh, now. Mohammed almost caught that kick. He can't sit back and wait for Singsuria to launch these attacks. It's not going to work for no, him. No, not at all. And it's going to be a lot of painful, yeah, too. Yeah, it's going to be detrimental You're going to him. Simple in, as that. Uh, end up in Bangkok Hospital Ooh, like that. lovely body shot with Sing Surya. Oh, Mohammed almost got the dump. That's the Sing power he by the possesses, ropes. Teddy. Oh, he's so strong. I told you, he's a superhero. He is incredibly strong. No, no question about that. But right now, that's... Superman type strength is not working for him at this point no, in time. At that, least in my books. I'm not judging. I'm being subjective right now. A judge is going to be objective. So, Oh, and a nice dump by Singh. Almost dumped himself. He got caught by the ropes. That counts. Love when Singh doubles up on that jab. Gets Mohammed kind of a little bit flustered and then just tees off. Lovely dude's switch. Got for days. Body, shot, body kick there by Centurion. Another again. one there. Now there's aggressive for Mohammed. He can't, like you said, he cannot sit here and just take this. He's so fast too, Mohammed. Oh, oh, big elbow. Lovely Caught step the in kick. elbow Wow, we have not Mohammed. seen that yet today. Yeah, he's got, he's got technique. He's got technical prowess. He just, he's got to showcase it more. Nice step in elbow See, by now, Singh Surya. Now he's catching that kick. Now he's getting, now he's getting it. Ooh, he's going for those slicing elbows. Final minute of round number three. Super welterweight Phoenix world title fight. Round. Now Mohammed's coming to life. Now you see Singh. Oh, and a big elbow off the yeah. catch too. That's he's long, longer and taller. And sure that's is. where you see it. And he's he, he can do that. He's like that. a predator right now. He's hunting Singh Surya. Oh, and a big elbow inside by the Frenchman. This is what he needs to do. The lion in the jungle chasing the hyena. He needs to go after him. He Continue is. to hunt him. And Singh needs to keep doing what he's doing. He being aggressive himself. Not much clinch from either player. Just final 30 seconds of round number here. three. Mohammed from France taking on Singh Surya from Thailand. Phoenix world title. Super welterweight world title. Oh, good fight. catch by Mohammed. Oh. Wow, those elbows are connecting now. Those elbows wow. from Mohammed have such power yes. behind them. They're beautiful. The velocity that he can get that close yeah. in that short of a distance fantastic. is just, it's amazing. Beautiful display by Mohammed. What a fantastic third round. Round excellent, excellent fight so far. Super welterweight Phoenix belt on the line. Yes, 155 sir. pounds. I'm Teddy Mulvey alongside Kevin Noon bringing you the action. The road warriors of Muay Thai MMA, Hawk and Animal. Wow, man. This is just a non-stop action type of a night, man. Yeah, incredible Are fight so far. Are you not entertained, everyone worldwide on the app? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for downloading it. I know that you are entertained. Phoenix 5. Phoenix 5 live. live. in the kingdom, baby. The kingdom of Thailand. No and better place to be, sir. About, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press rewind. About four months ago, I got a phone call from Yusef Bouganim telling me that a very interesting gentleman from the Lebanon was wanting to bring his show to Thailand. Yeah. And we talked about it, and we gave each other advice, and here we are. We Thank are you, here man. tonight. Thank Mr. So Chahe, I don't know you. I probably will never know you, but I salute you. Yeah, man, I do too. And sort of all the fans here in attendance and watching worldwide. What a great show. Just professionalism all around and just just uh, ah. excellency is Teddy, all I see. Take us uh, through that third round, please. So let's take a look here. Great inside leg kick. There's that double. When he doubles up, he just explodes after that. But Mohammed, cerebral fighter that he is, starts catching those kicks. And he'll start elbowing from the catch. Here it comes. Boom! Luckily, 
Singh got his head out of the way, but wow, man, that was he was going for the knockout there. There was that big elbow. Yeah, we saw a Turn different Mohamed yeah. yeah, yeah, in that third round. I'm go just going to go back to that little story. Yeah, you ahead. know where I'm going on my vacation next year? Where? The Lebanon. Oh, yeah. You know why? Yeah. Why? Because I've become uh, socio conscious about it ever since the, the Lebanon and mm -hmm. Phoenix. You know, you don't think about things until it really comes sure, into your socio absolutely. graphic. And I've been looking at pictures of Beirut and the, beautiful, and the, isn't it? Wow. I heard it's really beautiful there. I do. Yeah. I'm not, I don't care who's listening right now. Anyone around the world, but I'm coming to the Lebanon. That's it. Hope you welcome the bald Irishman there. Nah, with open I don't need arms, to tell man. anyone I'm coming, man. I don't look for anything like that. <laughs> but I'm going there. All right, no here question. we go. Round four. A lot more action in round three. I think Mohammed knows that he needs these two rounds. And he's he's pressing forward like right now like a oh, guy who knows top. that. Couldn't get it. Round number four, super welterweight Phoenix World Title Boy, Fight. Our man. third Phoenix World Title Fight of the night. Of course, the first one was won by Ooh, big elbow by Mohammed. Mr. Yassin Buganem, and before that we had Mr. Taxila from Thailand, victorious took it, over. Took it off the, uh, that was our first one tonight. Yep, I'm sorry, I apologize. One. And he took that on short notice. Yeah, fantastic wow, display. Wow, another Whoa. Matrix style. I'm telling you, Neo. Mohammed told you he's is, a superhero. Yeah, man. the stature in this fight is growing. His empowerment. He's being emboldened right now. Big knees again by the fighter from France, yep, from the famed Alamos inside. gym in France, home to, of course, former Lumpini Stadium champion Damian Alamos. Oh, heard that smack all the way over in Seelome right there. Oh, Big yeah. leg like, kick there by Singh. Okay, yeah, nice, Goes to nice the body, body shot. Yeah. Mohammed couldn't get the trip. Big roundhouse kick Good by Singh. Sorry, yeah. Surprised Mohammed's not using his jab more. That long, long, crisp jab. Big trip. The rope save him. He's stalking wow. Singh Surya right oh, now. Oh, he's being aggressive Monster as can be, man. Like you said. Thunder elbows from Mohammed right now. Again. Oh. Wow. The Predator is on fire That's right, right now. He's stalking him. Oh. Absolutely. He is growing in confidence, this young man from France. No question about uh -oh. that. It's hard to believe Mohammed is only 23 years of age. Fantastic display. Experience display tonight by the Frenchman. Big heavy kick by Singh. Can he take the Phoenix big World knee. title to France? That's the big question right now, Teddy. I don't know. He has plenty of time. It's round four. He can still take him out. There's those oh, one, two, he's big pressing. knee inside. Wow. Uh, yeah, he's pressing the action now magnificently. Mohammed from France. You can see everyone is getting behind him around. And he's cut. He has cut Singh oh, Surya. He left. has opened a oh, oh, magnificent oh. wound in the eye of Singh Surya right now. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, there is blood. If it's over the eye, that's going to be tough. It is going to go into his eye Mohammed there. Mohammed the Magnificent oh. right now. This guy is on fire. Huge breaths by Singh. The Thailand native needs oh, to oh, dig oh. deep. This could be Mohammed's first ever huge accolade in the wow. sport of Muay Thai. And no Big better one to there. get. Oh, he almost him out of the ring, Kevin. This kid is incredible right now. Singh Surya wow. is sinking in that proverbial swimming pool right now. Oh, great, great left there, looping left, and a big inside oh, elbow! Oh, oh. oh my goodness, are you not entertained, Teddy? This is fantastic Muay Thai. This is Phoenix Fighting Championship. Wow, do not blink. Oh. Incredible. Oh, I went for a trip after, no, it was after the round. After that's the okay, round. that's all right. Does not score in a round number judges. four, what a fight, oh what God. a display by both fighters. Rounds one and two, Singh Suri on the ascendancy. Yes. No question. Yes. Rounds three and four, magnificent Mohammed. Yes. No now, doubt. Mohammed stepped up halfway through the round, maybe the last minute. So see how they score that. But I mean, uh, I'm, I'm just telling you, and that cut. Whoa. I, I would like to get a good close up of that. We will cut. take a good close up of that cut for sure. Let's see. Wow! Incredible. Round four in the books. Fifth, fourth fight, excuse me, fourth fight tonight. Super welterweight, super welterweight championship on the line. Phoenix, there's that cut there. Take a look, Kevin. It's right in the inside of his nose. Right there, Ooh, inside of his eye. He's quite lucky. It's below the eye, so he's lucky in that context. Big knees. He, the blood won't be flowing into the eye. Round four, Teddy. What's the highlight of that round for you? Oh, come on. Mohammed let's just take, stalking him. I know, mean... So, sometimes it's good just to stay quiet and watch this action because it's just mesmerizing display. Look at those elbows oh. from Mohammed. 
he just grew in confidence. His stature, his ability, his technical awareness, his vision, his precision in that fourth round was absolutely mind-boggling. Yeah, he came alive. <laughs> Look at the velocity of Beautiful. that kick. Beautiful. To that sweep, to bring him up and over like that. Sing Surya, I like to call you guys to say he's uh, swimming in deep waters right now. And the, Mohammed the sharks, is the shark. Man. Yeah. He's the great, great shark right now. It seems like someone in his corner told him the right thing for sure. No question about that. And those Alamos family, Rodrigo and all the trainers, they are intelligent, educated Muay Thai guys. They know their stuff. And right now, I'm not going to say he's winning because that's not my job to do that. But we have a magnificent fight. And this will be an interesting fifth round. Will Singh Surya look to press the action, thinking he's behind on the scorecards? Let's find out. Round number five, Super Welterweight World title, Phoenix Fighting Championship 5, live from Bangkok. No. Whoa. Singh Surya is looking to nullify Muhammad now. Yeah, I mean, he, that was he aggression right into the... Right into the clinch. Oh, he's initiating all these clinches this, now. Yeah, but he's doing that to suppress yeah. anything. So he thinks he's won right now. That's what he, his mindset right now. He's won the fight. And Ooh. he could very well be right. I'm not going to stop my poison well, I mean, or pleasure him, to do him, that. Give him one and two, maybe three, I guess. That's what he's thinking. He's thinking Mohammed came on too late in round three, but I, I don't know, man. I, I, I might have a two and two like you did, like you said. Now, this is interesting. We've yeah, got just over two minutes to go. The mindset of Muhammad right now is hasn't changed. Ooh, He's looking big for elbow. the big, big kick. Knockout. Though, big Here we go. Oh, another those big elbows. elbow. Wow. Boy. They're doing serious wow. damage and to the arm. Spinning back elbow almost hits it. Singsuri is pressing forward though. No question about oh, that. Nice cheeky uppercut over the top. Caught big that. Great oh. sweep. Wow. Wow. Beautiful wow. sweep by Muhammad right now. Muhammad then looked to his corner for some guidance. And all they said was, keep your hands high. <laughs> oh. Ooh, big final, elbow. We're approaching the final minute and a half of the bout. Phoenix Super World Big World catch. Title fight. Oh, again. Another huge sweep. Huge oh, wow. sweep. The Frenchman is just, so, I mean, he's just oh, He's on fire Ooh. right now. He's on, there's no question. He's on fire. Big knee inside. Everything. He is oh. simply sensational right now. And stands over simply his tie opponent. Sensational from Muhammad. No question. This kid is a super talent in the oh, sport of Muay Thai. Oh, he's right now, man. Singh really needs to come alive. He wants oh, to take oh, this. Wow. Incredible, Big incredible kick. performance. And Again. another sweep. Wow, so cerebral. Look, look at the corner. They're screaming at him to keep coming forward. The Alamos gang. Oh, he's controlling this fight. He wants that belt right he now. He wants that belt so badly. It's incredible right now. Singh Surya. Every, oh, every time Singh Surya is wow. throwing that kick, He's just he's just suppressing everything. And then I mean, he's scoring a little bit with the kick, but then that huge oh, but he's score counteracting that score with straight the dump, away. The, dump. the judges that sweep big to the canvas. Elbow, big knee, excuse me, flying knee. Completely Come nullifies Muhammad. the kick. Effective Bowling aggressiveness. Him the ropes, goes for another sweep. Couldn't get it. Dominance and destruction. Absolutely, power behind this. Oh, he's just yeah. Absolutely fantastic performance by Muhammad Fluid. from France fluid fighter right now yeah, absolutely. at home everything's working for him Singh is in a world of hurt now the damage he's taking he, he's, he's oh, actually in a world though. of confusion I think is a big better right. now he's swinging for the fences wow. wow fantastic fight from both guys excellent excellent no. wow wow what a performance oh what a performance by the Frenchman, Mohammed from Alamos, Jim. Win or lose here, he's going home, winning the hearts and fans of everyone in this stadium. We're just going to wait for the official judge's decision. And our MC, Mr. Grant Waterman, the British national, Mr. Grant, very interesting character. We'll hand it over to him and Mr. Kudya from Channel 7. He's a football host here in the Kingdom of Thailand. What a fantastic show we've had so far. Four fights in the bag. We're teed up for the next fight, which features two Muay Thai super mega stars here in the Kingdom of Thailand. Gao Nar, PK Sanchai, taking on the Sweep King, Mr. Superbank, T-Dead 99 Jim.
as we await the official judge's decision. A very confident looking Mohammed and a very, I'm not going to say dejected looking Singh Surya right now. He just, he looks a bit apprehensive. Was he the architect of his own downfall in the latter half of that fight? We're going to find out. Either way, Mohammed has won a sleuth of fans. Let's wait for the official decision. Wow! There you have it. Your new Phoenix Fighting Championship Super Welterweight Champion, Mr. Mohammed from the famed Alamos Gym in France. Three judges scored the fight to the Frenchman. Judge number one, 48 49 in favor of Mohammed. Judge number two, 47 49. I'm reading the report first. And Ladies finally, and judge number three, 48 49. For this contest, Fan is the Phoenix Fighting Championship. Oh, Mr. Shahi Yaravanyan.